Hello, I'm Mike Walker. Welcome to a demonstration on how to find hardware information in an SMIS 1.8 server. This, is, this demo is shown as a quick start guide for Array hardware on my GitHub site for SMIS mocks. <clears throat> you can find that site by, in the video on installation and setup for running the mocks. The quick start guide is seven page, a seven page document that highlights information that can be found in about 30 pages of SMIS, specifically the physical package in the common book and the disk drive light profile in the block book. In this script, we'll be working with PyWebM 1.1.1 and version 080 of PyWebM tools. That's where we get the PyWeb and CLI that we will we'll be using in the demo. So let's begin. We will switch to my command prompt window. First, we'll go to our virtual environment for mocks. And we'll do that with a work on command. Work on mocks. And we're in our mocks environment uh, where we have our mocks, mockups ready to use. We'll be working <clears throat> with a mock server that supports an SMIS 1.8 array. So we need to establish a connection to the uh, mockup of the array. And we'll do that with a PyWebM CLI command. By Webm CLI, and we're asking for a default output of table, and we're connecting to an array mock. And we're connected. Now, the elements that report hardware information are instances of some physical package and its subclasses. So we start by looking for classes that report some uh, hardware information, which is some physical package. And we'll do that with an instance enumerate. A some physical package asking for a property list of tag, manufacturer, and model. And we see we have 10 physical packages, uh, two from Acme Hardware, the Acme Array, and a rack-mounted disk chassis, and then a bunch of byte uh, store packages, eight byte store packages to be exact. <coughs> So that doesn't necessarily tell us what the hardware actually supports. <clears throat> so the next question to answer is what part of the array does the hardware support? And we de determine this by iterating on the following command to determine logical elements that are supported by the hardware. And the command will be an instance shrub command. We're asking for the output to be switched to the MOF format for this command. And we're asking for an instance shrub on sim physical package. And a shrub is everything that is directly related to the package we're going to look at. And the dot question mark says we're going to select which package to look at. So we get our 10 physical packages. And we'll start with the uh, first one and select item 0. And we see it has a number of associations. The physical package. Uh, which is a SIM chassis in this case, with this tag name, is a group component, and it contains parts, or a part, <coughs> following a container 
a relationship that contains a physical package of ACME plus zero dash zero plus, which if you look back at our previous display was a rack of some sort. Now it's also a part component in a product physical component association that goes to a product. Now the product is grouping uh, various physical packages <coughs> and the product is named here. So uh, product is one of the things that we, the physical package is associated to. And finally we have the physical package is antecedent in a system packaging association to the dependent, which is a computer system. So what this is saying is this physical package is the physical package for this system, which happens to be our array. Now let's run the same command for our second item. And the second item is this physical package. And so we select one. And here, this, uh, this physical package is a group component in a container relationship to the part components, which are more physical packages. And there are eight physical packages that it contains. So this rack is basically a rack that contains eight individual physical packages. Now we also see that it's a part component in a container relationship back to the physical package, which was the SIM chassis, which is the chassis for array. So the rack is contained in the array and the rack contains a bunch of physical packages. So, <clears throat> The next thing we want to do is look for the third type of physical package and we'll repeat the shrub command and this time we'll pick one of these lower level physical package physical packages and we'll select item two and we see item two is a part component in a container relationship to the physical package that was our rack. So this is, in fact, containing our rack. The next thing we see, it plays an antecedent role and a SIM realizes to a dependent, which is the SIM disk drive. So what this is telling us is the, uh, the these, physical, these eight physical packages are, in fact, representing disk drives. <clears throat> and that is, that is true for the other seven physical packages in this list. So we've now seen how to find hardware in our storage array and we see what packages are contained in what other packages. And there's also a relationship over to product. So that's the demonstration on how to find hardware in an SMIS array.